Hi, welcome to this NVR tutorial. Today we are going to be covering using Playmaker 5.7 to set up basic triggers in Unity 3D. Okay, so I've imported Playmaker here, and uh, the first thing you want to do, once you have it imported, this should pop up. Oh, by the way, I'm running uh, Playmaker 1.7.8. Uh, you're going to want to click Install Playmaker, because importing the package uh, just brings up this page now. Before it didn't do that, but now it does. Uh, we're going to go with 1.7, not the beta. Uh, don't know what kind of bugs there might be. Import. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have our scene set up here. And we have uh, particle effects um, in here that I've made before. It's probably kind of hard to see. Oh. Where'd it go? Oh, it's not simulating. Okay. Uh, it's just a quick little ember effect that I made. And then I have a cube. This cube is going to be our trigger, so let's rename it. And then next thing we're going to want to do is come down here to Component. Playmaker, Playmaker FSM. That's going to add this here. Uh, before we go into that, though, you're going to want to come up here and check is trigger. And then come back down to the Playmaker script and hit edit. That will pull up our Playmaker tab. Should be this. You can dock it over here. And first, let's just do a quick explanation explanation about this. Uh, Playmaker operates with states, which is this right here, and then you just transition from state to state, and then on your state, you attach a transition event and uh, code blocks, essentially. And here, we'll show you how to do that right now, uh, but first let's rename this to trigger enter. So, because uh, the overall plan here is we are going to have it be once you step into the trigger you will activate that trigger and that trigger will activate the particle effect that is currently hidden. So we have that name trigger enter now and to add a transition event which is what we want to do uh, you're going to right click and add transition. We don't need to do a global right now you can just do uh, local and uh, finished and that's the one we want for right now it's what you're going to use most of the time in fact probably like 80 90 percent of the time uh, there are these other ones but that's fine right now actually yeah, it's fine uh, then we're going to right click in nowhere uh, and click add state that'll add a second state that we will now name activate game object And we're going to right click and add another finish transition to that. And uh, you're going to get this red icon here until you click on finished and drag and make sure it transitions into another event. We're going to do the same here, except we're going to loop it back into trigger enter. And we're going to click and drag here and move it so we can see in a much better visual way. This is just a cyclical uh, loop. And to add the code block, which is where we're going now, uh, you're going to want to click Action Browser. And that should pull up a tab that looks like this. For me, I already docked it. I'm going to put it back there. Uh, and the first one we want will be on the Trigger Enter. And we're going to search for Trigger. That'll pull up anything dealing with uh, trigger. Gen generally it's just the name trigger, but I know I want this, so uh, we're going to double click on trigger event and that will add that to this state and you can see that right here. 
and this is already set to on trigger enter. You can also set it to trigger stay, trigger exit, but enter is fine for right now. And then we're going to want to go to send event. So that'll tell, this uh, send event will tell it when to transition into the next state. And uh, we want it to go from finished to uh, activate game object. And so now click on activate game object, or whatever you have yours named, and I'm going to search activate. I want it to activate something, and we have this here, uh, activate game object, and we're going to double click on that now, and then uh, you're going to want to come over here to the game object. Uh, it's naturally set up to uh, use owner, which would be the trigger, but we don't need to activate that. What we need to activate is uh, the particle effect. So we're going to specify the game object, and we're going to ha have our hierarchy over here, and we're going to take and drag that right there to ember patch fx that sorry take ember patch fx and drag it into that slot and we can have this reset on exit but we don't need that right now we're just trying to get the thing active uh, and it's already set to activate and recursive we don't need it set up for every frame and that should be about it let's check and see how it works oh uh one last thing, uh, I generally like to have this saved till the end so I can see where my trigger is, uh, but you want your trigger more than likely to be invisible. I'm gonna click back on my inspector tab, and uh, I'm going to take the mesh renderer. You can deactivate it, but I'm just going to remove components. And it, the collision is still there, but it's just not being rendered now. I'm not intersecting that when I spawn. We're going to come over here to Ember Patch Effects, or whatever you're activating, uh, whatever you're activating, and I'm going to click it and deactivate it by clicking here. So it's not viewed or not running uh, when we start. So when we step inside the trigger, it'll activate. Look, okay, you can see right here it's not active currently. I'm going to walk forward a bit. Should activate, and there we go. That's how you uh, activate game objects or uh, use triggers basically inside of Playmaker.